What if I told you the programming languages we write today wouldn't exist without this one language invented in the 1950s? People in the 90s used to sit in front of a massive computer, a machine that took up an entire room. To make it do anything, you'd have to feed it long strings of ones and zeros or write instructions in assembly language. Every tiny mistake could crash the whole program, and writing even the simplest calculation could take weeks. But then, a revolutionary idea changed everything. What if programming could look like something humans actually understand? This idea gave birth to the world's very first high-level programming language, Fortran. Welcome to today's video. In this episode, we're looking at the story of Fortran, the very first high-level programming language. We'll look at what programming was like before Fortran, why it was created, how it completely changed the way humans interacted with computers, and the lasting impact it still has today. Whether you're a programmer or just curious about computer history, this story will show you how a language from the 1950s shaped the foundation of every other programming language we use to code today. Before Fortran, programming was a frustrating process. Computers could only understand machine code, which is a long sequence of zeros and ones. Later, assembly language was introduced, which was just slightly more readable for humans. Writing even a basic program meant keeping track of memory addresses, registers, and exact hardware instructions. There were no shortcuts, no abstractions, and no room for error. A single misplaced digit could cause the entire program to fail, forcing programmers to start all over again. What's even worse was creating even a small scientific calculation or mathematical model could take weeks or even months. This made programming extremely slow, expensive, and limited only to highly trained specialists. In 1953, an IBM mathematician named John Backus grew frustrated with how difficult programming was. He and his team believed there had to be a better way a way for scientists and engineers to simply write a solution in a readable format instead of worrying about hardware instructions. Their bold idea was to create a new kind of language that would translate human readable formulas into efficient machine code. As I told you already, machine code means zeros and ones. Since computers only understand these, we need to convert human readable code to zeros and ones so that the computer understands it. This project eventually became known as Fortran, short for Formula Translation. After years of development, the first version of Fortran was released in 1957 for the IBM 704 computer. For the very first time, programmers could write code that looked much closer to math equations. If you're not familiar with terms like what machine code is or what compilers are, you can check this video where I have explained how programming was done at an early stage. Fortran wasn't just a new language, it was a game changer. For the first time, programmers could write code using math-like expressions, loops, and conditional statements that were easy to read and understand. It also introduced the world's first optimizing compiler, which could automatically translate high-level code into highly efficient machine instructions, saving countless hours of manual work. Imagine being able to write a complex scientific calculation in just a few lines of code instead of handling hundreds of assembly instructions. Fortran made programming faster, less error-prone, and accessible to a much wider group of people. Its combination of human-readable syntax and powerful machine-level performance set a new standard for what a programming language could be and laid the foundation for virtually every high-level language that followed. Once Fortran was released, it didn't take long for it to take the computing world by storm. Scientists, engineers, and mathematicians quickly embraced it because it allowed them to write programs faster and more accurately than ever before. Tasks that used to take weeks could now be done in days or even hours. Its efficiency and reliability made it the go-to language for scientific research, engineering simulations, and early space programs. Fortran's success also proved that high-level programming languages were not just a theoretical idea. They were practical, powerful, and here to stay. By the 1960s, it had become the dominant language in scientific computing, 
influencing generations of programmers and laying the groundwork for modern programming languages like C, BASIC, and beyond. Even more than six decades later, Fortran's legacy is still very much alive. Its pioneering concepts like high-level syntax, loops, conditionals, and compilers didn't just make programming easier back then. They laid the foundation for virtually every programming language that followed. Languages like C, BASIC, Python, and Java all borrowed ideas that were first proven by Fortran, showing that the way we code today owes a lot to this groundbreaking language. Fortran's story is a reminder of how a single innovation can change the course of technology forever. From making programming more human-readable to inspiring generations of high-level languages, Fortran transformed the way we communicate with computers. The problems of tedious machine code and error-prone assembly language were finally solved, opening the door to faster development, scientific breakthroughs, and the software-driven world we live in today. Every time we write code in Python, Java, C, or countless other languages, we're building on the foundation that Fortran laid over six decades ago. It wasn't just a language. It was the beginning of modern programming as we know it. If you enjoyed this story of Fortran, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech stories like this. Comment down which programming language do you think will shape the next 50 years of computing? Don't forget to subscribe the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.